Hey, what's up everyone, it's Dolbeck. Today we are going to speak about the best weapon in your world, the only best weapon in your world. And I just want to tell you that this is not my bed, this is my dog bed that right now we just played with a tree branch and there's a lot of stuff on the bed so don't worry I'm not sleeping there. I have another bed on the top and it's where I sleep, uh, top floor. So yeah. Uh, this is <laughs> all right. So, uh, the spear is like just that OP weapon that you can use everywhere in almost any group. No, in any group, and nobody's gonna hate you. You see what I mean? Like, it's good for PvE and PvE, open world PvP, it's good for anything, uh, duel, uh, and even the IS tier, like in war and the IS mutation. So, yeah. With the spear you can do bleed, you can do pure DPS build, you can do a support build and a CC chain build and everything you can do with it is just amazing, like it's just crazy. There's the artifact with the spear that you can throw on people and it drag it to you and this is great but you, you can, like this is mostly a support build and if you really want to do DPS you better not use this spear, alright? So yeah. Uh, the one that people use the most, I guess, it's uh, mostly the damage build, um, like into mutation, people are gonna use Cure, Perforate, and the Sweep, and the three together are like the perfect combination between like damage and, um, how to say that, support, so it's like perfect for mutation, and then in, uh, even in PvP, I've gone in PvP with that same build and I was doing good. I know there's a lot of other good build in PvP. The spear is just broken, it's just amazing. So yeah, and one of the reasons why is because it hit AoE. The, the spear is made to hit like 2 meters in front of it, so you're gonna hit through people and the, the, you're gonna hit the people behind. And a bit the people around. There's like 1 meter large and 2 meter uh, long. So yeah, it's a lot of mob. Too. When you hit in the pack with the spear, you just hear the noise of like... You just hit anything. It's amazing. It feels good. It's one of the most satisfying weapon in the game. Just for that. So yeah, uh, the weapon combination that you're gonna see the most with the spear is a uh, spear and s sword and shield in war and PvP. It's like the best combo. And in... Um, PvE, it's Spear and Great Sword. And then you're gonna have Spear Great Axe too, that is just a bit under Spear Great Sword, but that is easier to use. And you still need a Gravity Well in your group anyway, so you kinda need one with the Great Axe when I'm thinking about it. But sometimes people are using Great Sword Great Axe instead of Spear Great Axe. Great Sword Great Axe do a bit more DPS, but you need the Spear in your group to pull the DPS to get the Rand stack. The rent stack reduce the enemy armor, if that makes sense. Uh, Alright, so uh, the Spear Great Axe I talked about, the Spear Rapier, uh, it's like one of those amazing weapon, it, like a weapon combo, but in PvP mostly. Uh, in PvE, I, it, I, it's not really good, and a lot of people are gonna like say, ah, it's amazing, but it, they did not play all the weapons, they just stick to that, and yes, it's satisfying to play, but it's not the great weapon combo because the rapier gonna scale of intel and dex and the, the spear gonna stre be strength and dex so in pvp it's doable because you're gonna put more con but in pvp since you're gonna play with between 5 to 50 con it's almost useless to put the rapier uh, with it you, you better put the great sword with the, the spear or like just put ice gauntlet with your rapier or void gauntlet so Spear Ice Gauntlet is a build that you only gonna see in war. Uh, anywhere else is just bad, but you know the Ice Gauntlet can make almost any weapon good in war. We've seen Great Axe Ice Gauntlet, uh, Spear Ice Gauntlet. There's a lot of mix like Flail Ice Gauntlet, Void Gauntlet Ice Gauntlet, Fire Staff. But Ice Gauntlet is maybe the best support weapon in the game. Probably, I think. I think yes. I think I might make a video about that. Why not? So the spear and hatchet has been one of the best weapon to live it up, like the best weapon combo since the start and it was even good in PvP and PvE at the start because the hatchet was broken, it was making you survive to almost anything, like it was just crazy and uh, 
Yeah, so people was doing hatchet and spear and then they nerfed the hatchet, now people use something else. But, it's still usable mostly in PvP and it's fun to do hatchet and spear, really. It's a great combo, really satisfying, and the hatchet raging torrent in the clump of mob, the, one of the most satisfying ability to use in the clump, you need to try it. So yeah, hatchet and spear, uh, worth it, worth it. I probably forget some perk on the spear. Uh, I try to talk most about everything. If I forget something, just say it into the comment uh, section. Why not? Like, uh, I know, I, like, my brain cannot remember everything 100%, even if I have a script, uh, you know. So, yeah, uh, the passive. On the spear, there's a lot of passive and when you do your build you need to make sure that you put the right passive don't just stick to always one set of passive when you change ability when you change ability you have to work the passive with it so you need to find another way to work with that uh, the weapon perk uh, metal, uh the, the sweep is amazing because of the bleed but most of the people are gonna not use it in pvp because you want more defense perk on your armor but the sweep in PvE gonna do something amazing because you're gonna hit it on multiple mob and it's gonna put some bleed or only one mob even if it puts some bleed on one mob that bleed gonna make your arch wound go up faster and if you can put more ultimate more detonate into a clump you're just gonna speed run faster so having the bleed into a speed run run it's amazing so Skewer reduce the enemy damage, perforate reduce the enemy armor, uh, bleed apply, uh, sweep apply bleed, and um, there's the javelin that you throw and it does a ram and pull the people to you. Um, and then there's the kick too. The kick gonna make you do more critical when you hit the target. It's not a really good weapon perk, but the kick is still usable into the CC chain. Uh, build because if you could use two stagger in a row on someone he's gonna get a free dodge so you need a stagger a stun and then a stagger and this is why like you're gonna sweep someone and then you're gonna uh, stun him and then you're gonna use your other stagger on him just to make the CC chain uh, viable all right so um, the only place that I've seen the spear not working perfectly is uh, in tanking. Uh, it's one of the worst tanking weapon in the game. I, I did tank Dynasty M10 and M3 with it. Dy uh, not Dynasty, Depths. And Depths is one of the hardest. Try to fight Torpe without sword and shield. I did the hardest Torpe with the spear and hammer. So I was just face tanking with the spear and dodging uh, most of the time against uh, Torpe and against the mob I had to put out more the hammer to make sure I had the CC and the aggro because of the AoE and when you if you attack with the hammer you gain your cooldown back so you can AoE and AoE and you get transient recovery on it on the hammer transient recovery is amazing so spear hammer is a really good build but it's hard to use it's it's used I've seen some people do it good in PvP in PvP in PvE too it's like a one of those builds that you're not sure that, but, but some people are gonna manage to do it somehow with it, but you know. So the spear, um, what I think is one day they're gonna nerf the spear, because why? They nerfed every other weapon in the, in the game and now the only one that is unnerfed is the spear and uh, yeah, one day they're gonna nerf it. But for the moment, I think that you are safe into you will add or none to make yourself a spear and sword and shield build you're gonna have a lot of fun and when you go in pve you just switch the sword and shield for a great sword and you're gonna have a good time so yeah um so the spear don't have that much movement so remember if you pair it with a movement weapon it's gonna be way easier most if you are into the open world uh i think this is it for this video this is long enough like that have a good day. Peace out. Oh, wait. Tell someone you love him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the stun like beard. No. Was How did that not hit him? Johnny, did that hit him? You saw that. The spear?